Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah. One more time. Praise Yah, from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to touch on something very wicked, demonic. You know what I'm going to talk about? Halloween. Okay? Good old Halloween, brothers and sisters. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, we, we as Christians shouldn't be touching on this and talking about this. Because really and truly, brothers and sisters, we shouldn't be celebrating this stuff. This is Satan's Christmas. This is Satan ritualistic event and it seems like every year i do a video concerning halloween um it is getting and it's getting more wickeder and wickeder every single year and there's a purpose brothers and sisters listen to me there's a purpose why they have this 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 celebration it's not it's not normal because I believe that this, this wicked celebration, Halloween, will eventually lead up to something that is real. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by, <clears throat> sorry, something that is real? Well, you know, with Halloween, you know, people, I'm going to call it Halloween for now. Um, or the big H, because you, you, I'm telling you, anything that is satanic, and anything that they promote, they don't like you to talk about it. And when you mention the name all the time, the thing your Bobby picks up, the one call it the Big H. It's Halloween, Big H, right? So, what I mean by eventually it's going to turn into something real. Well, with the Big H, Big H, brothers and sisters, you notice how people dress up. Some dress as ghosts, some dress as the turners and sleepers. <clears throat> Some dread, a werewolf, everything that's wicked, clown, everything that is wicked, the dress as. But I believe in my spirit that a time is going to come that on this day, that's, that is the big H. Maybe not this one that's coming up, you never know. Maybe not this one that's coming up. But the time is going to come, brothers and sisters. Look at it as a purge, as a purge night. Because instead of dressing up as the demonics, you, you're literally going to have the demonics on that night. So it won't be any more dressing up this and that, brothers and sisters. No, it's going to be real. And I believe that's the reason why Satan is so wicked. I don't know people worship that serpent. It just beggars believe, honestly. Yeah. Um, I believe that in the ending of days when there's no law, when lawlessness, when lawlessness comes into fruition, that brothers and sisters, and even before that really, coming up to the ending of days, they're going to begin to introduce these people. And they're not dressing, they're not dressing like the demonic. They are the demonics. Knocking at your doors. What they call it? Trick or treat? You open the door and you're in for a big you're in big trouble. Why are you opening the why why are you opening your door for chicken? Oh well it's little children. Oh, oh, little children. Oh, let's talk about the black eyed kids, shall we? That since your heart is softened to the little ones. So the time is going to come, brothers and sisters, because I'm telling you that these black-eyed babies, children that's going to grow up into kids, they are real. These things are real. Spirit of God never lies. This channel is a warning channel. I know some of you listening to me think, oh, but brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, there is no, there's going to be no more pretending to be the demonics they are going to be the demonics the real stuff the real thing keep on mentioning michael jackson's thriller and i the real thing you open the door because they said oh well they're just little kids you say they're just little kids and they just you know give them little sweets 
Well, one of these Halloween days, Big H, you're going to open your door and it's yeah, going to be your normal children that you see out there. Stop opening your doors for trick and don't do it. If you're a child of God, and make this be the last big H that you open your door. Don't do it. This big H that is coming up in 2021. Do not open your door for any kids. Don't do it. Even if it's a next door neighbor and they send the children next door to knock at your door, you're good friends with the neighbor. Yes, they're going to feel bad. They will. And they might tackle you the next day and say, oh, Susie came to your door this morning and James, and we know you were inside. So why did you open the door for the kids? <laughs> Lord, I can see the conversations. I can see the conversations already. Why did you open the door for little Susie and little James? Why? You're either going to choose this Halloween, this, this big H, really and truly. You're either, you're either gonna choose little Susie and little James over the over over the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is gonna be your choice. End of story. Because you're a child of God, you have no business giving trick and treats on Halloween time. I can't even stop calling the word Big H <laughs> on Big H Day. But the Lord is warning. All these wicked things that they pretend to be is going to be real they're going to turn up and they're going to knock at your door don't, don't open you know i'm, I'm telling you i've already I've, I've, well, i don't celebrate the big age anyway um and every year we close we lock the lights off but yeah lock the lights off and i'm upstairs in my bedroom you hear the little ones knocking at the door sounds bad and horrible and you hear them knocking at the door you peep through the window and you see, you, you know, but at the end of the day, that's something that you don't celebrate. Because the demonics, they're coming. They may not, like I said, they may not come this big H day, or they may, I don't know. But one of these big H's, they're going to turn up. They will turn up because, you see, Satan understands and he knows who opened up their doors. He does. He knows. do not do this is a i'm laughing but this is a serious message do not let this be 2021 this is the well 2020 i should say if you had celebrated it in 2020 all right by the by it's gone ask for forgiveness but let tw let 2020 be the last you celebrate the big h 2021 is a no-go area don't do it I said, well, sister Karen, I've got, I've got my children. I've always celebrate. They love it. My families and friends, they love to dress up. It's them over the biblical Jesus Christ. That, that is your choice. There's no two ways about it. So if you choose to celebrate or partake in this stuff, you're partaking in an event that uh, you're partaking in a day in a, a event day that is dedicated to Lucifer because it's all wicked nothing in big H represent the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth everything is demonic everything is a ghost or a turner or a werewolf or something wicked and demonic so why partake in evil creators of evil invention that is all that one is evil invention and yeah I, I, it's, I just cannot believe and I know they are but it's just really hard to fathom that the church is partaking this thing pumpkin and all sorts of stuff pumpkin that is dressed up like a witch with the witchy hat and the scary eyes and the scary mouth and put a little candle inside of it. Ritual. And your church do that. Mm. You have to make a decision. You kind of follow your wicked pastors. Simple as. I call them wicked because that's what they are. I've got nothing good to say about them. Nothing good. Maybe one and two. But the rest are very wicked. So you follow your wicked pastors and you're deceived. 
church members and you go on that day if they open up we don't know if they open up and you celebrate with them what are you celebrating in the church what what is it what is it you you make excuse well it's for the children really the bible says in I forgot what scripture is it in don't let your kids pass through the fire and sometimes you read that passage and you think um <clears throat> When the Lord is speaking to the ancient Hebrew Israelites, you probably think, oh, it's death. It's only death the Lord is talking about, that they're going to kill the kid, kill the children. It's not only death. That's part of it. It's physical. It's part of it. But it's all these little wicked things that are set up by Satan, the kingdom. Anything that's wicked that's allowing your children to go through that the Lord doesn't like. For example, with the you-know-what, the eating, the pudding, and all of that. That's passing your children through the fire. Big H is the same thing. Passing your kids through the fire. Let them, let them go through this ritual. You said, oh, it's innocent. It's not innocent because it's spiritual wickedness in our places. That is what Big H is. Big H is a spiritual wickedness in high places. And you must not partake of it. I can't believe I'm doing this video for born again Christians. Because this is... Anything that is ungodly and wicked, automatically the Holy Spirit inside of you should raise a red flag. 2020. If you have partake in 2020, big H, don't do it for 2021. So if you've got children, husbands, wives, Mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, next door neighbors and friends who absolutely love this day. And yes, y'all used to celebrate together and have a drink and what have you. Don't do it this year. This is a warning. Do not. do it Because you see, every year the ritual gets wicked and wickeder. Because it's the ending of days. So the Lord is saying straight out, point blank, do not, do not participate, do not celebrate, do not let your children celebrate this thing. Don't do it. Do not do it. And my oh, sister Karen, what about school? That's the next one as well. The next institution. Oh, Sister Carol about school. My children having a party. A school party. And, um, and you know, they say that they can dress up in, dress up in costumes that they like, you know. The wolf and the, and the ghost and the this and that. But, but, but they can wear the normal clothing if they want. Daughter, these people, I tell you, Satan kingdom is just so wicked, isn't it? Every single way to get our children. Every single way to get our children. And they're so innocent, our kids. Now, if you want, and you want your, you know, having a little party with the kids, you know, eating and drinking and what have you, and you want to, the, the one you want to send your child, or it's after school or whatever, and you want them to go, you can let them go, but don't dress them up. Don't put them in wicked costume. Your normal clothing is fine. They can go and play with their little friends. They can go and play with their little friend, eat the little cake, and, and they come home. But don't you dare dress them up. Because that's part of the ritual. That's marking your child. Or if you don't feel comfortable, don't let them go to the school party. That's what it is. So you've got a choice. So like I said, if you choose to let them go to the little disco, the little school party, yeah, the school might say, you can send them in the Halloween costume. Don't do it. Mm -mm. If you want to send them normal clothes, it's fine. Because the kids, they're innocent. But it's the, the innocent and... Um, they can, like I said, it's a little mate, they're going to have a little piece of cake, little, you know, whatever, and a drink, and, and they come home. 
But when you dress them up, brothers and sisters, that is sending a message to the kingdom of darkness. Satan is clapping his hands. Yes. Yes, one of mine. Yes. But when you don't dress them up, the devil questioned it. Oh, why is that one not dressing my stuff? Satan have conversation to himself, you know. He really, really does have conversation to himself. Oh, why is that? Why is little James not dressed in a hot, you know, a big H like the other kids? And he gets mad because little James is different. Little James got Christian parents. Little James' parents know the Lord. And sometimes when you send your little James and your little Susie to their little party and they look different, it sends a message. Deep, isn't it? But anyways, brothers and sisters, right, so I wanted to do this on the wicked big H, okay? So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Yah. Who lives above the heavens. Yeah, eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Let us say the benediction together. It is Jude chapter 1. That's Jude chapter 1. Verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads. From now unto him. That is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless. Before the presence of his glory. With exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.